Hey, what's going on, guys? Here is my message to mainland China and all the egregious and atrocious things that they are doing to Hong Kong right now. Free Hong Kong. Okay, Hong Kong does not need to be your territory anymore, and it legally shouldn't because you have violated the basic law numerous times, and you have stepped over the line, and it legally, Hong Kong legally needs to be independent now, or it needs to go back to the UK. And let me explain, okay? Hong Kong became a British colony in 1842 and on July 1st 1997 the British government gave Hong Kong to China but when they gave Hong Kong to China it was a one country two system form of government okay and so that the the communist party and the limited freedom of press and the limited freedom of religion and freedom of speech was not going to occur in Hong Kong but recently, as you've seen, there were two pro-independence Hong Kong legislatures. They were legally elected to the Hong Kong legislature. The names was Yao Wai Ching and Ba Jio Luang. And they were not allowed to serve on the Hong Kong legislature, even though they were legally elected. They also raised nearly one million U.S. dollars in campaign money. But they have to return they have to return the campaign money. The Hong Kong High Court ruled that, but the Hong Kong High Court is usually just a puppet, um, a puppet court nowadays to the to the Beijing government, to the mainland China government. Also, the the Chinese Premier Xi Jinping, he is trying to do everything possible to not allow the Chinese, no, to allow the the pro China demonstrators to demonstrate. And highly encouraging them to anytime the Hong Kong independence movement demonstrates or the umbrella movement. Now, the umbrella movement is becoming more of a Hong Kong independence movement, but it wasn't like that at first. It was just trying to make sure that the people from Hong Kong had the basic rights that were that they were entitled to under the basic law. Freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, and freedom of assembly. And those rights are being eroded. Prime example. Causeway Bay Books were bookstores that sold books that were critical of the Beijing government. But under the basic law, in Hong Kong, they could do that. Well, five of these booksellers had disappeared. And mysteriously ended up in mainland China. And Lam Wing Ki, he is testifying that he was abducted. He said he did not leave to go to mainland China voluntarily and he's raising awareness on this issue and I commend him. He's a brave individual for doing this. Okay? He's a very brave individual for doing this. Okay? And also, um, not in Hong Kong but you see my shirt here. The Deadpool film was banned in China. That's how that's how anti-civil liberties um mainland China is and it's going over into Hong Kong like prime example that mainland China does allow you to be Christian but they make you move crosses from your church well what they're doing now is that a lot of Christians from China mainland China they're not allowed to go to Hong Kong the Beijing government is prohibiting them from going to Hong Kong prohibiting them from visiting Hong Kong and they're blocking any guest visas or any travel permits mainland Chinese Christians can get because they don't because they don't want them to experience freedom or experience liberties and the the pro independence movement is gaining a lot of support but the Beijing government is steadily trying to block, block, block trying to block the pro independence demonstrations. Rather, the, if the demonstrations are turning violent or not, a lot of times the the police is getting violent with them. Or, and I firmly believe a lot of those pro Beijing demonstrators that are countering the pro independence movement, I believe they're paid by China Premier Xi Jinping. Anyways. Free Hong Kong. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.